eternal and heavenly father lord jesus christ our savior holy spirit our helper and consoler we believe and acknowledge that you are here present to us and living with us in this eucharistic bread and we worship you lord with all our heart mind and soul we adore you lord with all the angels and saints with the whole court of heaven with all the created beings on the earth we glorify you lord praise you lord dear brothers and sisters we spend a few moments in silence in the presence of our lord experiencing him in our lives at this time pouring out our heart mind and soul and worshiping him We thank you Father Son and Holy Spirit for all that we have received from your hands today. And with we with faith we acknowledge and we know that all that has happened to us today is part of your will for us. 
Lord, give us the grace that this evening as we are in your presence to have a heart opened and have the eyes of our faith open to see your hand in everything that has happened to us and to believe in your goodness that you would turn everything to be good for us. O oh Lord, all that felt for us to be good, all that we felt today as good, it was easy and good for us to receive as part of your will and love for us. But Lord, there were moments which we could not understand, we could not see as part of your will, could not see anything good coming out of it. But Lord, this evening, in your presence, as we surrender ourselves into your mighty hands, we acknowledge that everything is from your mercy. And you are good to us. And you are faithful to us forever. And you will turn everything that we are feeling at this time not very good, sometimes disappointed, but you will turn everything to be good for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your providence. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for filling us with hope and strength. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy into our life. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. Thank you, Lord, for your miracles that we are not able to see now and beyond our understanding. Thank you, Lord, for the help through our brethren around us. Thank you, Lord, for those people who prayed for us today. Thank you, Lord for the reception of sacraments we could do today. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us and helping us to pray today. Thank you, Lord, for these moments to come into your presence to worship. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you with all the angels and saints. We worship you with all the angels and saints. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Adore you, Lord. With all our heart, mind and soul, let us worship him. Let us adore him.
adore you, Lord. Let our hearts worship him. Let our body, mind and soul worship him. Fixing our eyes on our Lord. For all that he has done into our life. Thank you, Lord. In the Gospel today, we were reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Through the Gospel, the Lord was bringing about that message unto us, that Jesus is the Savior and the fulfillment of the prophecies Fulfillment of the promise of the Savior the Lord has given. Jesus, son of David. The Savior was to be born from the house of David. And today in the Gospel, Especially as we are close, the last week of preparation for the celebration of Christmas. And the Lord reminds in the Gospel today, the promises of the Lord will be fulfilled. All the promises the Lord has given will come true. Nothing of the word of the Lord will go vain. Everything will come true. It also says that we can count on the word of God. We can count on the promise of God. We believe and trust in our God who fulfills all his promises, who is faithful to all his promises. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. And at this time in the presence of the Lord, Worshipping and adoring Him. Looking at our own life this day. For all the blessings and everything that has happened to us. We worship Him, we adore Him, we glorify Him and we thank Him. Let's also make a prayer from our heart. O oh Lord, increase our faith. O oh Lord, increase our faith that we, so that we see your promises coming true in our life. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Adore you, Lord. And now in the presence of the Lord, as we are preparing for the celebration of Christmas, the birth of Savior, that Advent resolution we have made to the Lord, the spiritual growth we would, love, we would want to achieve in this season of Advent, that resolution let us offer that unto the Lord at this time. Let us make an examination of conscience this time. Did I try towards achieving that resolution? 
Or did I give in to temptations? And did I move away from my resolutions? In the presence of the Lord, let us have an introspection into our own soul. How did my spiritual life go today? All the shortcomings through our thought, word and deed. All shortcomings through our omissions, not cooperating with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. We offer all that unto the Lord at this time, asking for His mercy. O Lord, you know that we are human beings and fragile, not holding strong sometimes in the face of temptations and troubles. Lord, for all those moments today when we gave in to temptations, when we committed sins, and all the shortcomings that has come into our life today, we ask of you forgiveness and pardon. And Lord, we pray for more grace and strength from this moment on in our life. To hold on to you, to receive strength from you, to walk strong in the now spiritual journey to eternal life. Thank you, Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, let's also intercede for the whole world. The COVID pandemic, all the negative impacts of it on all the peoples of the earth. Lord, have mercy upon the world. Lord, stretch out your hand and heal your children, we pray. Let's also remember all our family members, especially those who are sick and hospitalized, those who go through medical procedures these days. We pray for their healing. Let's also remember all those who are in their deathbed. All our beloved ones, our family members, could be our parents or grandparents or beloved ones whom we know. Those whom the doctors and medical science have given up. We offer them, pray for Lord's mercy upon them. And we pray for their souls. Our prayer, let it prepare them for their journey to eternal life. Dear brothers and sisters, we request you to pray with us at this time for all the intentions we have received here at Divine Retreat Center Summers. All the prayer intentions we receive as comments to the online services. We pray for all those who visited us today and prayed with us. The benefactors, well-wishers, neighbors, intercessors of divine retreats and tessamas be. Let 
Dear brothers and sisters, let's also pray for each other at this time. All those who are joined together from different parts of the world in this online service and worship. O oh Lord, have mercy upon your children and their prayer intentions. Stretch out your hand of blessings upon them, Lord, we pray. Thank you, Lord. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let us kneel down before our Lord as we enter into the moments of benediction, singing together, down in adoration, falling. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy, drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us recite the divine praises together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. Amen. Oh 
所。